Welcome to this edition of Freedom Watch Afghanistan. I'm Marine Corporal Aaron Harrity. Air Force F-15 Eagles conducted successful airstrikes against enemy forces in eastern Afghanistan earlier this week. The F-15s dropped guided bombs on a vehicle stopping an enemy rocket attack and also struck anti-coalition personnel. The F-15s are assigned to the 391st Expeditionary Fighter Squadron and are deployed from Mountain Home Air Force Base, Idaho. The F-15s are a new sight in the skies over Afghanistan, and Senior Airman Isaac Watson took a trip to the flight line at Bagram Airfield to see what the Strike Eagles bring to the fight. The 391st deployment to Afghanistan marks the first time F-15s have been assigned in Afghanistan. The 12 aircraft, along with about 200 airmen, focus primarily on close air support for ground fighters. Although these Strike Eagles launch from Bagram, their missions take them throughout the entire country. We've got uh, tanker support nearly 24 hours, so uh, our typical missions are, you know, three to four hour uh, sorties, and uh, but we can stay airborne much, much longer than that due to all the tanker support. So um, we've got uh, KC-10s and KC-135s up there uh, supporting the mission as well, and anytime we need a little extra sip of gas, they're always uh, there available. These aircraft are airborne up to 20 hours each day. In addition to regularly scheduled missions, many of the jets and their crews remain on alert status around the clock. We set the record here a little while ago. The jets were able to take off in, uh, in under 13 minutes, which is, uh, which is pretty amazing. The guys were able to get from the building out here to the jets, start, get it ready to go, and they were able to take off in uh, that short amount of time, which is pretty awesome. That quick response is critical to the warfighters on the ground who need air support. And when the Strike Eagle arrives at its target, it has plenty of armament to get the job done. Pilots are just one part of these close air support missions. The squadron's maintenance and support personnel are the backbone of daily operations. They work around the clock, ensuring the aircraft are ready to fly, a job that actually began before the squadron left home station. Anytime we're about to deploy to a combat area, we'll do a full operational check of all of our systems to make sure they're, they're worthy of taking them. Those checks will continue throughout the 391st deployment, with pilots and support airmen working together to ensure close air support in Afghanistan is available 24 hours a day, seven days a week. Senior Airman Isaac Watson, Bagram Airfield, Afghanistan. And that's this edition of Freedom Watch Afghanistan. For more information about our program, log on to PentagonChannel.mil. I'm Marine Corporal Aaron Herity. Thanks for watching.